Here we want to explain the operation of the revolutionary, stepless but nonetheless friction lock deer transmission, called KIVT transmission. This is basically a gearbox arrangement, with two differentials connected in series, which are connected on both sides with corresponding gear wheel pairs. They are forming a small and a large transmission ratio side. This gear arrangement has such freedoms, which allows at a constant motor input speed, simultaneously any rotation speed of the gear's wheels which are located in the gear. The decisive factor for us, is the gear output speed with a clearly associated transmission ratio with it. Due to the speed change of only one gear wheel, also the other speeds of all gear wheels in this gear arrangement are precisely and unchangeably determined. It is very important to note here, that the gear arrangement does not care why one gear wheel of this gear arrangement changes its speed, or is changed in speed. The speed change of a gear wheel in this gear arrangement affects inevitably a change in the transmission ratio. If we stop the gear output while the drive is running, the gear arrangement balances itself and all other gear wheel speeds are clearly determined. If a gear wheel is stopped on the long transmission side, the transmission will work over the short transmission side. Then we have a low output speed with a high torque, and all other gear wheel speeds and the transmission ratio too, are clearly determined. If a gear wheel is stopped on the short transmission side, the transmission will work over the long transmission side. Then we have a high output speed with a lower torque, and all other gear wheel speeds and the transmission ratio too, are clearly determined. If a gear wheel will not stop, but move to reduced speed, the transmission ratio also changes accordingly infinitely variable. In order to change the speed of a gear wheel of the gear arrangement, arbitrarily influence can be be applied, even from outside. The most easy thing to change the speed of a gear wheel would be an external speed variable motor, which is by changing the speed. Also changing automatically the transmission ratio of the output of the gear arrangement. As we have already recognized, it does not matter which gear wheel we influence in speed within this gear box. The transmission ratio is always formed by the non-positive gears within the gear arrangement. The transmission ratio is clearly determined by influencing or determining the speed of a gear wheel. The invention takes advantage of this fact of the kind, and does not use any additional energy to change the speed of a gear wheel. For example, we use the existing output speed 0 to change the transmission ratio. This means that by reducing the idling speed of a gear wheel, the transmission ratio is also changed. By changing speed on the output shaft, this one gear wheel will be changed in speed again. Thus, unimaginable, high transmission ratios are possible. Depending how much speed is transferred from the output to this gear wheel, the transmission ratio is also determined. If the output speed is fully transmitted to this gear wheel, both have the same speed. The highest designed transmission ratio has been achieved. The transmission or compensation of the two speeds can be achieved to the desired extent by means of recuperation brakes, or very simply, for example by axial piston pumps. Here the efficiency of the axial piston pump is irrelevant. It is not the more or less economically transmitted torque that is decisive here. Important is the speed, which is transmitted, and is used for transmission ratio control. If less speed is transmitted, the transmission ratio is also lower, and at the same time the transmission ratio is stronger. The special gear arrangement is solely responsible for the transmission ratio and efficiency of this gear unit. The step-loose gear changes achieved without clutch, 
switch or shift of gears wheels. The desired direction of rotation can also be changed very easily, steplessly and without domes, without additional components. The gears wheels of the gear arrangement are not moved in their configured position and engage constantly non-positively in each other. With this invention, the theoretical optimum of the infinitely variable transmission ratio of a gear transmission, which was previously considered impossible, is achieved for the first time actually, and in best quality.